God by his infinite mercy have decided to reveal who the next American president will be, to his servant one of the most revered and prominent prophet, Prophet Sadhu Sundar Selvaraj. Don't skip, stay to the end to fully understand this prophecy. Tabernacle of God, through whom the glory abides for all to see. Amen. So this is the word that I received from the Lord on the 3rd of October. Today, at 6.10 p.m., as I was about to iron my clothes, I, a strong presence of God came and filled that room. And I looked and I saw a saint appear in my room. And I recognized the saint to be Moses. He said, I've come to talk to you what you must speak in the meeting tonight. So he shown, told me five things about the US. Number one, now this also concerns the election. Number one, the nation is at a crossroad. You are at a crossroad. A crossroad meaning a valley of decision. You are at a crossroad, which means you can either tip to the right or tip to the left. You make a wrong decision, you tip to the left. You make the right decision, you will tip to the right. You are at a crossroad. Number two, they will have to decide if they want God to rule their nation through a leader whom he had chosen or be led by a woman who is likened to the woman on the beast. You know, till this evening, 6.10, till 6.10 in this evening, I never had anything against Kamala Harris. I, I, I'm indifferent to anything, you know. But this word shook me. Now let me repeat again. They will have to decide if they want God to rule their nation through a leader whom he had chosen or be led by a woman who is likened to the woman on the beast. You find this in Revelation chapter 17 verses 3 to 4 about a woman on the beast. This is not good. Not good to compare someone to something. Number three, it is the good pleasure of the Father to give them four more good years of prosperity, respite, and joy in the Spirit. It is the good pleasure of the Father to give them four more good years of prosperity, respite, and joy in the spirit. But, number four, but they can choose the way of the world to be like all other nations. The choice is still in your hands. You can Make a decision after your flesh. When Kamala Harris first was proposed to be, or first nominated as a Democrat candidate, you know, all the black churches decided they would vote for her. All the black churches in the US decided. Why? Not for any other reason. Is that good or bad? Bad. bad? All black churches. The same thing happened when Barack Obama yes. first stood for office. All the black churches voted for him. Even all the Indian churches in the US voted for him. Why? Do you know why? Because he was going to open the doors for their benefit. 
I spoke at an Indian church in uh, New Jersey. Indian not meaning American Indian, East Indian. And when I told them it's not the will of God for you to vote for Obama, the church leadership rebuked me. So how can you say like that? They said, how, what do you know about USA politics? I said, of course, I do not know anything. But I do know the mind of God. Amen. That I know. I do not know. Till today, I do not know the ins and out of USA politics. I do not know. I don't want to know. I'm here to tell you the mind of God. Amen. Period. Amen. Amen. And all Indian churches voted for him. Because they believe that their Indian uh, rice bowl will become larger. And six months after, all their bowls began to drop and break. So one more time, this nation is at the crossroad of repeating the same mistake they did in 2008. In 2008, I flew from Baton Rouge to go to Houston, Texas for a meeting. And because of bad weather, the plane had to force land at Austin. And we were at Austin Airport, grounded there for an hour. And I was praying. While I was praying was when the Lord told me, Obama Barak will be elected president at that year. I said, Lord, why? Why him? And uh, I think it was Pauline who was standing against him or someone. John McCain. John McCain ah. So I, I told the Lord, Lord, no, that person is a Christian man. You know what the Lord said? I'm giving them a man after their own heart. Yes. You wanted Barack. You wanted Obama. So I'm giving them a man after their own heart. I humbly ask you not to repeat that mistake Amen. that you did 16 years ago because it is not the will of God. Amen. It is not the will of God. Even in the previous election, the Lord had me give the same word. It is, not, it is the will of God to give you four more years of respite but they have a choice to decide who they wanted you know nobody is perfect in this world right mr trump may not be the perfect man his mouth you know better right honestly in the natural i would not vote for him Honestly, in the natural. But he's got chosen. Sometimes you need a character like that to carry out some very strong purposes. Right? Like Nebuchadnezzar was God's man. God used Nebuchadnezzar, his nature, a robust, like a bulldozer nature, to discipline Israel. In the same time, you know, in 1950, when communism came to China, when Mao Zedong became the president, he brought bloodshed to the nation. 50 years of cultural revolution. Millions of Christians were killed. Blood of martyrs flowed in the nation. This is one side. On another side, Dec no, centuries of superstitious beliefs were kicked out of the nation by the same man. God used that man to kick out, to drive out superstition from China. Tibet, where I had labored for 20 years. There were 6,000 monasteries all over the nation. And when Mao Zedong came, he destroyed all the monasteries except for a few. See? Superstitious beliefs all kick out of the nation. Making the way open for the gospel to come in. So God uses some unrighteous people. 
You don't know. Maybe loud, robustic, maybe flamboyant with his mouth. That may be his minus characteristics. But if but he has godly values. You tell me who in the church is a perfect saint? Nobody, right? So if you are not perfect, why are you blaming that man? Why are you blaming him? In the year 2020, when the election was taking place, I spoke during our online Bible class about voting for Mr. Trump. One of my student's husband, he overheard me making this statement, and he wrote me a long letter rebuking me. Say, what in the world do you know about USA politics? Who, who gave you the right to talk about asking the people to vote for him? You know how bad he is. And this is a Christian man. And do you know, all the evangelical churches chose not to vote for Mr. Trump. So who brought the downfall? Yes. Not the rigging of the voting machine. Mr. Trump is also wrong in that. It's the church. It's the church. Because you chose to vote for the wrong person. King David is a man after God's own heart, right? All agree? Yes. At the same time, he's an adulterer. Yes. Worse than that, he schemed and killed an innocent man. Right? Yes. Yet God looks at him and he says, a man after my own heart. Even after all these events. Why? Those were the deeds of his flesh. But his heart was godly. He does, his heart was towards God. So in the same way, we should never ever judge a person after the flesh. But to ask God, Lord, who is the person chosen by you? Amen. That is the man who should rule the nation. Hallelujah. That's what you all should do. Hallelujah. That's what every church in the US should do. <laughs> Fast and pray. Kneel down and pray. And ask God, Lord, show us. Which man whom you have chosen? Then God will show you. If you sincerely ask. Right? Amen. The scripture says in Psalms chapter 2. Ask of me concerning the nations. Ask of me. So if you ask of your nation. He will definitely show you. Amen. Number 4. Already done number 4. Number 5. The angels of the Lord. Governing the 50 states of the USA are present in their midst here today. Now don't clap your hands. Nothing for you to exclaim because they did not come for you. They came to hear what God is going to speak in this meeting. Because they will carry this word to all the 50 states. The angels of the Lord governing the 50 states of the USA are present in their midst to see what they will decide. What you will decide. And then, now listen, and then they will determine how to execute God's judgments upon the United States. So why are you not clapping your hands now? Earlier on when I say angels of the Lord, you, you wanted to clap your hands, right? So why aren't you clapping your hands now? Because you don't want judgments. Now let me repeat one more time. The angels of the Lord governing the 50 states of the US are present in their midst to see what they will decide. What will you decide tonight? I will turn this meeting over to Dr. Elizabeth to lead you in a or to Bishop Fondong to exhort you and to lead you in prayer. What you will decide and then now 
speaking these words now i uh, i perceive in my spirit to see what they will decide also means what you will decide on november the 4th so which means october 4th to november 4th you have another 30 days to really intercede intercede and use all your good influences Amen. to marshal other churches to make right decision Amen. Amen. spread this word far and wide to see what they will decide and then they will determine how to execute the judgments of God Amen. I'll give you an example biblical example of this in Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 and 2 you will read four angels standing in the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth in their hands why those are the winds of adversity winds of judgment they are holding it in their hands when to let go then an angel arises from the east another mighty angel and he tells them don't let go not now wait until we seal the servants of God so you see they will wait to determine a time they will wait to determine <coughs> so this is the word of the Lord I bring to you today concerning what should take place shortly in your great nation it is uh, let me repeat one more time it is the father's pleasure to give you four more good years of rest respite meaning rest prosperity true prosperity and joy in the spirit just like how the age old law of road versus weight was turned around which other president has done that which other president has moved the US Embassy from Tel Aviv yes. to Jerusalem? Jerusalem? Which other president has done that? God used Mr. Trump. Yes. He used him. He's like a Cyrus, you know, yes. who built the walls of Jerusalem. He may have his flaws. Who doesn't have? But I humbly urge you stand on God's side Amen. stand on God's side Amen. Amen.